Hey everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Jan Zuiderduin. I'm the founder of LearnSolidWorks.com and today I'm going to show you how to model this one piece chair in SolidWorks. In this lesson we're going to use a key sketch, so this means we're going to draw a 2D sketch that we'll use for the main dimensions of our chair. And we're going to use surface extrudes to draw all the surfaces of this chair. Let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background color. So I'll click on this icon right here and change the color into plain white. All right, now we're going to draw a 2D sketch on the front plane. So click on the front plane and the sketch icon in the feature tree. And now we're going to draw a couple of lines. We're first going to draw the lines and later we will add smart dimensions to it. All right. All right, the first line will start at the origin. So draw it up till here. And the second line will go up till here. Now hit escape to close the line command. Click at the line command again or hit enter. Now we're going to, to draw the third line from here up till here. Make sure not to apply automatic uh, relations. You can also hold down the control key to disable this. Up till here. Close the sketch by clicking on the escape button. And now we're going to make sure that those endpoints are horizontal. So select both uh, endpoints and holding down the control key to make them horizontally. Do that for these two points as well, just like that. And now we're going to draw another line. This time it will be a center line. And this will be a horizontal center line from here up till here. And now we're going to draw another uh, construction line and this time it will be a vertical line from here up till here hit the escape button again all right now we're going to draw another horizontal line this time it will be a solid line starting at the origin from here up till here just like that now we're going to add some smart dimensions. I already uh, modeled this chair uh, before, so I already have all the dimensions on paper uh, to save some time in this video lesson. So I will now apply all the dimensions. But if you're wondering how I know those dimensions, that's because I already prepared this lesson in advance. So we're going to change the height of the chair to 950 millimeters. That's the highest point of our chair. The height of this point will be 457 millimeters, just like that. And the height of this center line will be 320 millimeters, just like that. All right. The angle between those two lines will be 70 degrees and the angle between those two lines will be 14 degrees the angle between those two lines will be 26 degrees and this length will be 40 millimeters we will slide this line a little bit to the left now we're going to add a smart dimension from from this line to this line and the angle will be 8 degrees just like that all right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw another line from this point right here up till here. Make sure to hold down the control key to disable automatic relations between lines. 
because we don't want that right now. I'm going to draw another one line right here. Uh, parallel line right here. Up to this point right here. Now you're going to make sure that this endpoint is a little bit lower. You can drag it down a little bit. Now we're going to add some extra dimensions. So this line will get a length of 460 millimeters. The angle between those two lines will be 40 degrees. The angle between those two lines will be 127 degrees. And as I already mentioned, I already prepared this sketch before, so that's where that's why I already know these specific dimensions because I found out that this looks good. So change the angle from this corner into 123 degrees. I accidentally add a dimension right here, so I remove the parallel dimension. I drag this smart dimension a little bit to the right. Now we're going to add another smart dimension from this line to this line. And the angle between those two lines will be 120 degrees, just like that. All right, it's already starting to look like the side profile of a chair. Now we're going to make those two lines parallel to each other. So select both lines by holding down the control key and click on parallel. Now we're going to select those two lines and we will make them perpendicular to each other. So click on the perpendicular icon right here. And you will notice this will over define our sketch. So I will delete the perpendicular right now. And I'm going to select this line. And this line and this third line I will make sure they all have the same length you can do this by clicking on the make equal icon so these lines have now all the same length now I'm going to use another smart dimension we're going to start on this point up till here and the length between those two points will be 445 millimeters, just like that. All right, our sketch is now fully defined. Now we're going to close our 2D sketch by clicking on the close sketch icon. All right, so now we have our first key sketch. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another 2D sketch on the front plane. So select the front plane again and make a new 2D sketch. And now we're going to convert some of the lines we just draw. So select those four lines. Now click OK. We just converted our four lines. Now we're going to create a first surface extrude. So go to the surfaces tab and click on extruded surface. Then we're going to change the length of our surface into 375 millimeters. We're only going to model half of the chair right now. So that's why it's a little bit narrow because we're going to mirror this chair body later on in the video. To turn off the shadows. 
Now we're going to draw another sketch, another 2D sketch on the right plane. So select the right plane in the feature tree and click on the 2D sketch icon. Click on normal tool. Now we're going to draw a line from here up till here, up till here, up till here. Click escape to close the line command. Now we're going to create another line from this corner up till this edge. Up till this edge, up till here. All right, click Escape to close the line command again. Now we're going to change our display state so you have a better view on the lines. Now we're going to add some smart dimensions. So the first dimension will be between those two lines, and we will change the dimension into 75 millimeters. The second dimension will be from this point to this point. This will be the leg of a chair and the width will be 60 millimeters. Just like that. Now we're going to add an angle from this line to this line and we'll change the angle into 65 degrees. All right. Now we're going to add an angle from this line to this line. And we'll change the angle to 10 degrees. We're going to change the length of this horizontal line into 125 millimeters, like that. And this line will be 100 millimeters. All right, now you see two blue lines. So this means these lines are not defined yet. So we're going to add some dimensions here as well. So we're going to change the angle from this line up to this line. We're going to change the angle into, into 15 degrees. Now we're going to add a dimension from this point up till this horizontal line, and this length will be 370 millimeters, just like that. All right, our entire sketch is black right now, so this means our sketch is fully defined. And now we're going to use the trim feature, the survey trim feature, um, to trim the part away that we don't want. So go to the surfaces tab, and we're going to select trim surface. Our sketch is already selected, so the trim tool is our sketch. And we're going to select this part and we're going to say keep selection. So we want to keep this purple selection and we want to remove the blue part. So click on keep selections and select the main body and click OK. Now we're going to create a split line with projection because we want to project some lines. So go to the uh, sketch of the survey trim, select sketch three, and we're going to use that line for the split. And we're going to select this surface to project the lines. So we're going to um, split the blue surface right here. And now you can see the surface is split into three surfaces. Now we're going to create another uh, sketch at the top plane. So click on the top plane in the feature tree and make a new 2D sketch. Now we're going to draw a line from this point up till the midpoint of this surface, up till here. We're going to click Escape to close the line command. 
you're going to add some dimensions from this line up to here and the angle between those two lines will be 15 degrees just like that all right now you're going to convert those entities as well so select those three lines and this one as well and click on OK all right now we're going to create another surface trim so go to the surfaces tab click on trim surface now we're going to use these lines as a trim tool so it's already pre-selected so we click on the keep selections so we will keep the purple selection So click OK. All right, now we have our surfaces. So we're going to create a new sketch on the front plane. So click on the front plane again. Click on Normal Tool. And now we're going to make another sketch by using the Convert Entities. And this time we're going to select those lines right here. This one as well. This one and we click on Convert Entities and click OK, just like that. Now we're going to create another Surface Extrude, so click on Extruded Surface. We're going to change the From to an Offset, and the Offset distance will be 370 millimeters. And the length of Direction 1 of our Extrude will be 100 millimeters just like that click ok perfect now we have created the first part of our arm rest now we're going to hide this sketch so click on the sketch and click on the hide icon right here awesome so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a surface loft so we're going to click on Surface Loft and we will select the first edge we want to loft. We want to make a loft from here up till this edge right here. And we're going to click on OK. Now we're going to knit those surfaces together. So click on Knit Surface. We will select this body our new surface loft and our armchair and our armrest right here so make sure all three bodies are selected we're going to make sure that merge entities is enabled and we click ok awesome so now we're going to add the fillet and we will use a regular fillet. So click on the first icon as fillet type. And we're going to change the radius of our fillet into 30 millimeters. We're going to change the profile from circular to curvature continuous for a much smoother surface transition. So now we're going to create a new sketch on the front plane. So select the front plane, click on Normal Tool. And now we're going to draw a line from here up till here. Make sure it's a horizontal line. So we're going to select this horizontal line and this fillet, and we make them tang into each other. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to make a ground plane and I wanna, I'm going to use this line to trim the other surfaces. So we want to make sure that our chair is with its legs on the ground. So therefore we're going to use this line to trim the lower parts of this surface right here. So we know for sure that all the legs of a chair are, have the same length. So we're going to click on remove selections and we're going to get rid of those purple surfaces right here, right? So click OK. 
Awesome. So now we're going to create a new surface loft from this edge to this edge. And we'll click OK. Awesome. Now we're going to knit our surfaces together again. So select the first body, select the second body. So we now have three bodies, as you can see right here. Make sure all these three bodies are enabled. And make sure that the merge entities is enabled as well. And click OK. Now we're going to add another fillet. So click on the fillet icon. We're going to change the fillet size into 100 millimeters. We're going to select this line, this edge, and this edge right here, and this edge. We will also select the edge right here. And we click OK. Now we're going to create another fillet. And this one will be a little bit bigger, so make it 150 millimeters. And we select this edge right here. So select the edge. Make sure that the profile still is curvature continuous. And click on the multi radius fillet. And this enables us to create more fillets in one feature. So now we're going to select this feature right here, this edge right here. We are also going to select this uh, edge right here. Now we can change the dimensions. We make this one a little bit smaller, so make it 50 millimeters. And this radius will be 70 millimeters. And now we click OK. So now we've created multiple fillets in one feature. All right, now we're going to use the thicken feature. So go to thicken and select the body. We're going to make sure that the thickness is on the middle icon, so the materials apply to both directions. And the, the thicken, the thickness will be 10 millimeters. Now we click OK. Awesome. Now we have created half of the chair. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some fillets. So change the fillet size into 400 millimeters. We're going to zoom in a little bit. As you will notice, I use a 3D mouse for this lesson. I can definitely recommend you to do this as well because it's easier than a regular mouse. Now we're going to select some edges, this edge as well. And we click OK. Right, I'm going to create another fillet. Going to change the fillet size into 100 millimeters. Now we're going to select this corner right here. Select the edge. And we're also going to select the corner right here. Perfect. All right, now we're going to add some fillets to these edges as well. So zoom in on the edges. We're going to select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this one. Right, and now we're going to click OK. Awesome. We're going to zoom out a little bit. Now we're going to create a chamfer on the edges. So click on chamfer. We're going to click on this icon right here. And now we're going to make yeah, some kind of face chamfer. 
which means we're going to select this face right here. And we're going to select this face right here. And now it automatically applies a chamfer to the whole edge. So this way you don't have to select every single edge. We're going to change the chamfer parameters to chord width and the chord width will be 15 millimeters. Make sure that chord width is selected. Now we're going to click OK. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another chamfer. Change the chamfer type again. Now we're going to add a chamfer right here. So select the first phase and select the second phase. And as you will notice, it will only show part of the preview. So change the chamfer parameters to chord width again. And this will give us a much better result because now the chamfer will follow the entire edge. So click OK. And it's already starting to look very good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another fillet. And this time we'll click, we will select the face fillet option, just like we did with the chamfer. We're going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to select this surface right here. And we're going to select this surface as, second, as a second surface. We're going to change the parameters to chord width again just like we did with the chamfer. And now we're going to change the dimension of our fillet into 10 millimeters, just like that. You can already see in the preview that it looks pretty good. Now we're going to click OK. So now we're going to create another fillet for the other edge as well. So click on the face fillet icon again. And now we're going to add the fillet right here. So click on this first surface. This will be the first surface. I click on the second surface. We're going to change the parameters to chord width again. And the dimension will be 10 millimeters. I click OK. Awesome. We just completed one half of the chair. Now we're going to mirror our chair. So click on the mirror icon. We're going to collapse the feature tree. And we're going to select the front plane as our mirror face. We're not going to select the features to mirror, but instead of that, we're going to bodies to mirror. So click on the bodies to mirror folder and select our body. Make sure that merge solids and knit services is enabled and click OK. And voila, we just completed our chair. Now we're going to add some uh, materials. So click on the material tab, go to appearances. And let's make this metal, for example, click on steel and click on set and finish stainless steel. Of course, this can also be any other material you like. All right, now we're going to add some shadows. We're going to add the perspective. So now you'll notice the tangent edges. We can turn them off as well. If you go to the options, right here. Go to display, and then we can say part assembly tangent edge display removed. And if you click on removed, instead of as visible, click OK. It will turn off our tangent edges, and this way the chair will look even better. All right, guys, that's all for this lesson. Now, if you want to become a SolidWorks Pro by modeling this Austin Modern 177, this super yacht, this American chopper, this Tesla Roadster, and even this Boeing 747-8 in SolidWorks, I want to invite you to attend my free SolidWorks workshop. And you will find a link to attend this workshop in the description under this video. 
all right guys that's all for now thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and i hope to talk to you soon bye bye